morning everyone and welcome to Raina Mo's DIY and it designs and today the project is going to be a wedding topiary so if this sounds like a tutorial that will interest you please continue watching first to start off you're going to be doing a topiary so you're going to need a pot and I got this pot at the Dollar Tree and I liked it because of the coloring but I'm going to actually be spray painting these pots because I haven't been able to acquire any more that are this same shape. <clears throat> so I'm going to be spray painting them instead of keeping this uh, color. <clears throat> you also are going to need a dowel or a stake of some kind. I have this uh, one right here which is actually a long skewer for like making s'mores so and I've already spray painted part of this one I'm also gonna be using different size floral balls so this is like the two and a half inch floral ball you're gonna need for your largest one at least a five inch floral ball and this one happens to be a three inch floral ball I got these at King Dollar you probably can find them at Epic Dollar or any dollar store that you have I have not been able to find any of this size at the Dollar Tree but this one did come from the Dollar Tree and then we're gonna need our foam roses that's what I'll be using for my topiaries today and I'm gonna be making them in the milk white color I got these off of Amazon but if you want to use the really tiny ones, especially for the small ball, which I'm going to be using, I got these, uh, which they have them on Amazon too, but I got this pack from uh, King Dollar. Um, I'm also going to be using some of the white pebbles from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using uh, this foam block to cut up and put inside in the bottom. And you also can use like some white sand or sand that can be at the very bottom to help weigh your topiary down. So let's begin the project going to do is go ahead and affix your foam flowers to your balls. I'm going to start with a small ball and I'll complete this one on camera time lapse because you know it takes time but the other ones which I'm going to be using these bigger three inch flowers that I got from Amazon those I'm going to be doing off camera just to kind of speed it up and we'll move on to the next um, to the next part of the project so I've heated up my glue gun and as I'm sure y'all noticed I got a new one um, so far I'm liking it I'm just going to go ahead and affix my flowers which you guys have seen me do this on one of the other tutorials where I made these flower balls and the other um, balls but that's basically it I go around the circumference of the ball with these um, flowers and my hot glue and I just add them on making sure that they're close enough to each other I like for the flowers to be almost touching because you flush you fluff them out too and just continue applying the flowers Once you have affixed all of your foam roses to all three of your balls, the next step is to work on the bottom portion. And so all I'm going to do for that is I have my pot here that I have spray painted and this is satin nickel. I picked that up at, it's a Rust-Oleum um, spray paint. You guys have seen me use it before and I believe I get that at Walmart. I know you can definitely get it at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot, whichever one is your choice. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this foam board and the reason why I'm using the white foam board as opposed to using the green ones from um, 
Dollar Tree, which you can definitely use the square foam ones here at the bottom. The reason why I'm using this is because I actually want to have the white gravel on the top and I just think that it would flow and look better. So what I'm going to do first is go ahead and cut up my foam and place it inside the, um, the pot and when I come back I'll show you how it looks looks like once you've placed the styrofoam I've also gone ahead and added some of the white rocks at the very bottom though I added some of these blue rocks because they won't be seen just to give it extra weight but like I said you can use sand I couldn't find my sand so I just improvised with the blue marbles and I put the white rocks on top so the next step that we're going to do is actually to go ahead and skewer our um, foam rose balls so I'm going to take the dowel that I have, which I've spray painted, and I didn't spray paint all of it because no one's going to see this part, and no one's going to see this part here at the top, but it just makes it easier. So what you do is you just find the center of your planter, and you want to just place it down. Push it all the way down until you hit the bottom. Then what I'm going to do, even though this feels really, really sturdy, just to make sure that everything is like it should be, I'm just going to add a smidge of hot glue around the base and let that cool. Now remembering that obviously the styrofoam will melt a little bit with the, um, the heat of the hot glue, but that's gonna be okay because it's gonna solidify and help give us much more of an anchor, but it's pretty sturdy. So the next thing that you'll wanna do is go ahead and actually skewer your uh, topiary balls, which that's what I'm gonna call these now. Your foam rose balls are now your topiary balls, and you want to put them in a graduated manner with biggest to smallest at the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now, and uh, we're gonna time lapse that, and uh, when I come back, I'll show you how it looks. Okay guys, so here I'm beginning with the first ball, which is the biggest ball. Be very careful if you're using anything pointy. Um, you can't see how I have my hands placed, but I have it where the, the skewer is coming in between my fingers because we don't want any injuries. But just make sure you keep the balls nice and centered because they feel like they want to turn a little bit as you're guiding it. But just slowly but surely inch the balls down and you can see here where I'm using my hand to kind of gauge towards the bottom where I want it to stop. Later on, you can make any adjustments that you feel you need to to get the spacing in between the topiaries just the way you want them. Okay, so once you've skewered all of your balls, I mean, I'm just smiling so much because I think this turned out so cute. You can go ahead and you can add the rocks to the bottom of your, uh, your topiary. And what I'm going to do is add a little hot glue just to help prevent some of the movement of the rocks once I uh, place them here. And I'm just going to dump them in. To move as fast as possible because this uh, glue is going to dry quickly. And then, pretty much, we are done with the topiary. Unless you want to decorate. And you know I'm going to bling this out. So, that's the next step. We're going to decorate. So keep on watching. Okay, so here I've decided that I'm going to use a little bit of ivy to help bring in the Pantone color of the year. Also, I just feel like there should be some form of greenery with every topiary, but I didn't want the topiary to be green. So I'm just playing around with my placement, and you'll see in a little bit how I decided to place the ivy when I show you the next step. So here I've decided to use some of my pearl hearts 
to go ahead and decorate the topiary ball that is in the center. So I'm just draping and it seems like every second heart I'll place a little dab of glue and then set it on the rose that I feel it looks its best on. And I'm just doing an up and down with a slight S shape curve pattern on these topiary balls with this particular pearl design so that you can see how it does drape over the ball and it gives itself a little bit of curve like a swag so that it doesn't just lay on the ball. You know I like my loops and turns because it just gives a different texture and it adds depth to the ball. Um, so this is basically what I'm doing here and you can continue watching as I complete this second ball with the heart shaped pearls and leave a comment down below let me know are you more of a diamonds girl or are you more of a pearls girl I just wanted to take a quick moment for those of you that have been watching me for quite a while who actually watched the entire video. I wanted to announce that I'm going to be doing a special giveaway um, for our 10,000 subscribers that we've reached. Uh, I know it's long overdue because we're close to 15,000 now. But I'm going to be doing a giveaway which I already discussed in a live video that I did which I will be posting that live video to give that information and it will be three separate prizes so what I would like for everyone to do who has watched this far is to go ahead and make a comment down below saying yay 10,000 and that will be your entry into the 10,000 giveaway um, but please don't mention anything about the giveaway in this one. I, I want to do a test run to see how many people actually complete watching the video. Um, even during the times where it could be seen as just a little bit boring. So again, to enter into that particular giveaway, just comment down below saying yay 10,000. So now that I have affixed the pearls onto the second topiary ball, the first and the third are going to get special treatment with some crystals that I have. I'll be using smaller crystals obviously on the first smaller topiary ball. And then for the large one here I'm using a little bit of larger crystals. And all I'm doing is taking a waxed tip, Q-tip. Um, that I picked up on Amazon to pick up those crystals. The other end of the Q-tip, which is wood, I'm using to affix glue onto the roses where I'm going to be placing the crystal. And I'm just using E6000 glue or Dollar Tree's Fix-All glue works very, very well also. 
If you wanted to use hot glue, you can, but these roses are foam roses and very delicate, and I didn't want to take the chance of the hot glue distorting the rose. So that's the reason that I am using the E6000. So I'm sure you all know how to affix a crystal onto a rose. So I'm gonna cut this part a little bit short uh, and just zoom in to where the final reveal comes to play. And I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial because I've had a lot of fun doing it. So now that I have affixed the crystals to the top ball and the third topiary ball, I am now working on the base. I've decided that I want to use a ribbon and this is a Dollar Tree ribbon. It's one of their wedding ribbons that's white with a silver filigree pattern. And I'm just going to affix it to the bottom of the pot. And finally, I will be placing a embellishment onto it and it will be one of the totally dazzled brooches that are just absolutely gorgeous. I'll be adding that to finish off the ribbon but keep in mind you can do whatever embellishment it is that you like whether it's something from totally dazzled and this is not sponsored or if you find something at the craft store, it could be a broken piece of jewelry. It can even be something as simple as another bow of a different ribbon color or the same ribbon. Either way, it would be absolutely gorgeous. Just design and make it your own. And here you go guys, our beautiful topiary that is diamond and pearl entwined. And I love how we added the green ivy to bring in the Pantone color of the year, which is green. And I think this turned out absolutely gorgeous. I'm definitely gonna be recreating this for my parents' uh, golden wedding anniversary, which is coming up um, in like a year and a half from now. And I'm just so, so pleased with it. She's so pretty. So if you like this particular tutorial, please give us a thumbs up. Share this video with everyone that you know on your social media as well as just word of mouth. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed already. But most importantly, have a wonderful evening. Bye.